follow my lead. We 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 on the road to a two. To trust me, sort of a lesson. No need. If you could dream, you can achieve what you believe. What you believe. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy D Wills. Give me y'all a tour of my home gym. I actually did a video um, in the beginning of this year showing my gym, but I knew there was a lot of people who was wondering about the equipment that I had and how much I spent on this and where did I get this from, where did I get that from. So I thought it would just be best if I just gave a tour of my actual gym, let y'all know what I got, where I got it from, and how much I spent on it. I will try my best to remember where I got this stuff from. Put the um, put the links in the description, different things like that. I'm gonna start off first with my treadmill. I got this treadmill maybe like three years ago. I spent about $2,500 on it. I got this from Sears. This is the Soul F85. Um, I believe it was originally like $2,000, but I spent like an extra $500 for the warranty. And so far, I mean, I love this treadmill. It's definitely top notch. You can see it says the, the um, it's, it's got like a, a pretty strong motor on there. It's got the, the two year warranty for labor, five year warranty for electronics. It's definitely a beast for um, just residential use. Um, next. After I got my treadmill, the treadmill was all that I had for a minute. I didn't even get anything else for a minute. I mean, it was like two years, right? It was like two years before I even got anything else. I, um, cause I didn't even intend on having my own gym. Only thing I wanted to do was just have a treadmill so that when I woke up in the morning, I could walk on a treadmill or whatever the case is. It wasn't until two years later that I decided I wanted to get the gym. And let me think, let me think. The next thing that I got was I got the mats. I got these thick mats. I got one down here. Let me see if I can come down here and let y'all see it. All right, now this is three fourth inches thick. This is horse stall mats. I got 11 of these from the tractor supply company. And these things are very heavy is a hundred pounds a piece and I took all of that in by myself it's not even that it's a hundred pounds it's just that it's, it's like the weight is awkward and it's just yeah if you get this definitely have somebody to help you out with it don't do it by yourself like I did this gym is measured at 24 by 10 and a seven and a half inch height so it's actually pretty small but I've been able to maintain keeping it like this because I literally measured everything. I did. I made measurements on everything before I got it. I knew where everything was going to go before it went there. So right where you see the benches, you see the adjustable bench, you see the heavy bag. I literally knew where everything was going to go. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry, I keep going off on tangents. Y'all gotta, gotta bear with me. I spent, let me see, I got 11 of these. These were priced at about $35 a piece. I got 11 of them. I spent a little, with tax, I spent somewhere in the neighborhood of $425. So I got 11 of those, I spent $425. And the next thing, I'm gonna show y'all my triple rack that I got from the Troy, it's, um, it's a Troy VTX triple rack. I actually got this off of Amazon for around $500. When I was in the market looking for a rack, I knew I would have to get a triple rack because the double rack, I didn't have enough space for that. It just wasn't gonna allow me to have the space that I needed for the dumbbells that I, was, that I knew I was gonna have. I knew I was gonna go up from five to 120 and I'm like, you know, where am I going to get a double rack and I know it's not going to equal the measurement so I knew I had to get a triple rack I came across this rack everything worked out pretty well it said on the site that it can take from five all the way up to 100 pounds in dumbbells 
I took a gamble with it because I knew I was going to go to 120, but I'm like, all right, well, maybe if I move some weights around, maybe I can possibly get the 100s and the, the no, the 110s and the 120s on there. It's originally this accounted for fives, eights, what was it, five, eights, tens, twelves, but I only do five pound increments, so I don't have eight pounds or twelve pounds in there, which kind of saved me some space. And um, yeah, like I said, I spent $500 a piece on that. So we're going to go over to the next thing, which is the dumbbells. This is what everybody wants to know about. This is what I keep getting all the questions about. You know, where did I get the dumbbell from? Where did I get the dumbbell from? This is actually four different sets broken up. All right. These five pound dumbbells, five, 10, and 15. I've got all of these from Dick's Sporting Goods. All of these came from Dick's. Um, I forget how much it was. I think it was maybe a dollar per pound or something like that. I had to buy those brand new. Now, 20 all the way, what was that? 20 all the way to 50. Now, these dumbbells I got used. I got them used, I got them off of Craigslist. I got all those dumbbells, 20 through 50. I got this adjustable bench, which actually happens to be, I can, this adjustable bench comes in flat. It comes in, let's see. It comes in incline. And it goes decline. So this was a good deal. I got that. And I also had, um, I got a couple other stuff that I don't use. So it's not even worth mentioning it in the video. Um, that's right. I got this rack over here. I got this rack over here. All of that. I got that for about see, 300 bucks, $300. That's how much I got it for. 20 through 50 pound dumbbells, the bench, the rack, I got that for three, 300 bucks. Now, the 55 all the way through 55, all the way through 100. I got these off of Craigslist from another supplier. This guy came from out of like, I forget it was like Jersey. Yeah, it was like around Jersey. I got these for 50 cents a pound. 50 through 100, five pound increments, 50 cent a pound. What I would urge, yeah, what was it, 55 through 100? Yeah, 55 through 100, 50 cent a pound. What I would urge people to do is, if you're looking, if you're in the market to try to fix up, Try to get your own home gym or whatever it is you're trying to do. Make sure you go on Craigslist. Do it every single day. Be consistent with it. Trust me. You will find good deals. Deals come through all the time. Every single day. Kind of broaden your search. Don't just search around your area. You know, search maybe an hour, hour and a half out. If you can, you will find amazing deals. You know, majority of the stuff that I found, you know, especially off of Craigslist, I mean, I saved a lot of money with my dumbbells just from getting it off the of Craigslist, finding the supplier. So, you know, 50 cent a pound, that wasn't too bad, especially when they're priced at like a dollar a pound usually, but you know, the thing about this is these are cheap Chinese hats. You know, if I'm, if I mean, these are like not even, they're really not made to be for no commercial use or nothing like that. It's really made for like home use. And if I had like a commercial gym type setup, then I would get like the, the polyurethane, or at least I would try. And those are the most expensive dumbbells. Those are the, they, they're like the rubber ones, you know, the ones you, you go to LA Fitness and I think it's called Iron Grip. It's like those, those are like thousands of dollars. Like a full set will cost you like 20 grand you know, from five all the way up to like 120, you know, which is good if you got that kind of money, but if you're looking on a budget, then you definitely want to check out Craigslist and be consistent with it. It was times where I went on there and 
I didn't see anything. Then the very next day I would go in there and I'd see that this deal came out at this time or that deal came out at that time. And the way it works with Craig's, especially when you look at the fitness stuff, I can't really say about other things, but with fitness stuff, it goes very fast. I mean, if you don't catch up within the first hour or two, you pretty much, that, that you, you've missed it. That deal's gone. So you gotta be extremely consistent with making sure that you look at it a few times a day, every single day, until you find what it is you're looking for. And I'm pretty sure you will find it, because there's always somebody that's selling something. But, um, yeah, let me continue. The next ones I got, I got these 110s and these 120s off of Amazon. I got them at a little over a dollar per pound. I did this purposely because these are a lot heavier and they're already cheap Chinese hex. I didn't want to take a risk or the gamble of going up too high in weight with the cheap Chinese hex and they're beat up and next thing you know the thing winds up sliding out of the end and yeah, I'm, yeah, that's not gonna end well for me. So I was willing to actually buy these brand new because I just wanted to make that investment to make sure that they were brand new, never been used. It's secure, it's tight, everything is cool. And so, there it is. Those are the dumbbells, the four different sets, okay? Four different sets. Now, if you're wondering how come they look so similar to the next, it's because I actually painted these uniform to one another. I spray painted these. I will leave a link in the description on the spray paint that I used and I also used a paint marker to mark the numbers in to make it look like a full set from 5 all the way to 120 like I said I'll give you I'll, I'll put the link in the description and let you know what spray paint I used along with the paint marker that I used to actually make these look uniform so you know there it is you really want to try to do this, especially if you're going to have your own setup because, you know, I mean, you may not be into the whole, you know, making sure it looks nice, but I don't know. I like to make sure my stuff look all right. I don't want the set to be broken up and not look like it's, it's together. I mean, I'd rather the set look completely together. Okay, so there it is, people. Next, we got the mirrors. These mirrors are six by eight foot. They are six by eight feet. I have two of these. I have one along this wall, and then I have another one, as you can see, over here. Right. Let's see if I can get it better here. One right there. And again, one right here. Now, I got these off of a website. I forget what the name of the company is. If I remember, then I'll just blurt it out. But for right now, I forget what the name of the company is. I got these for $700. That was the total price. Installation and everything was included within that price. Um, this company, they do, they do like a lot of commercial type stuff. They, they put in mirrors and the, the regular commercial gyms and different things like that. So I was able to get them at that, that price, which I considered a good price. Um, I ordered it on like a Wednesday, by the following Monday it, it, it came. So I got mine like pretty quick. It doesn't always happen that way, but they was around the neighborhood. They was around my area already. I happened to luck up. It was around my area. So when I placed the order, it was just a matter of them just coming right through. Um, like I said, these are both six by eight, you know, excellent mirrors. I love these things. You know, it was definitely a good purchase. I would do it again when I move. Yeah, so check the mirrors out. I'm gonna try to see if I can remember the name of the company and put the link in the description. I'm gonna put everything in the description for y'all so that y'all can know where I got the stuff from, all right? So let's continue with the tour. Let's go with the heavy bag. The heavy bag. This is perhaps the oldest piece of equipment that I got. I actually got this thing while I was in high school. 
I was like, what grade was I? I was in like 10th grade when I got this. Yeah, I got this in 10th grade, man. Um, yeah, this thing is a beast. I mean, it's an old school thing. You can't go wrong with the heavy bag. It's nice to lift weights, you know what I mean, for strength and everything like that, but you really trying to cut yourself up or, you know, you're trying to gain some power, you can't go wrong with the heavy bag. You, know, you can't go wrong with the heavy bag. I spent a hundred bucks on this. It was very well worth it. And you see how I got, I got it right up into the stud. Yeah, I have an older home, so I can do that. I would not recommend people with newer homes to do that because the materials is not the same at all. You know, the thing will probably wind up falling out, but I'm fortunate enough to have something that can keep it up. And if it's survived off, if it's survived off everything I put it through, then yeah, I don't think it's coming down. Next, we have the beast. This is my baby right here. This is my baby. I have the Rogue RM6. This is, I believe, the second generation power rack. This is the Rogue Monster. Was it Rogue Monster 6 or something like that? It's the, it's, the, it's the complete one. This is the best rack that they have on the site. This is the older model though. This was the model that was before the model that's on there now because they put out another generation model. I was fortunate enough to get this um, and this was very expensive too. This is, one, this is like the most expensive thing that I have. I don't know, I, can't, I forget the dimensions and everything on it. But um, I'll probably put it in the description. This was, um, this is a three by three, seven gauge steel. Like, I mean, this thing is like solid. This thing is not going anywhere. I'm pretty certain you can put two, 3,000 pounds on it and it wouldn't budge a bit. This, this thing is a beast. I got the full, I got the full power rack, no modifications, nothing like that. Everything is complete. Now with this, I really had to make sure that my measurements was on point before I got it. So I spent a good amount of time just, I kept going over the same thing over and over again. If you notice, if you notice, right, the, um, the rack is like almost, it's almost touching my ceiling. It's not touching it yet, it's almost touching it. That lets you know how tight it is. This came in extremely tight. I like, I just kept doing the measurements over and over again because I'm like, I gotta make sure that this thing does not, I gotta make sure it's able to fit. And um, to my surprise, it was able to fit just perfectly. You know, measurements, measurements, measurements. I had to keep doing this over and over again. You can see it's, it came with the pins, came with the pins, it came with everything. I would say this is the best power rack that you can have for home use. The best you can have for home use. It is expensive. It is expensive. This power rack, honestly, at the time that I got it, they were selling it normally for like, I believe $2,600 or $2,700. Yeah, $2,600, $2,700. I would take this over the newer one any day just because the steel is thicker. You know, the seven gauge compared to the new models that they have now is only 11 gauge. It doesn't go any heavier than that. It's just 11 gauge steel. So you got seven or 11. I'll take the, I'll, I'll definitely take the seven. I mean, I want the heavier steel if I'm gonna be in the market of getting a power rack. So you can check out the pins. Check out the pins. Next we have the plates. Well, you know what? No, 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 I'm jumping ahead of myself. I also ordered this stuff. I have the the rogue, this um this rogue thing, triangle thing. I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what things go up, but I have that. <laughs> um I have the landmine. You gotta have the landmine. The landmine is essential. I mean, you can do any exercise with the landmines. It's like crazy. But most importantly, you gotta have this. You 
gotta have that matador, that roll matador. You know, for the dips, this thing is heavy too. This thing is heavy. Whoa, don't fall on me. Thing is heavy. I spent probably like extra 500 bucks for all three of that stuff separate, of course. Um, then I also got the West Side Bardell Power Bar. Yeah, super aggressive knurling. Super aggressive knurling. This thing was, I think it was 350, 350 or 375, one of them. It's extremely, uh, the knurling is very aggressive. I actually only use this bar when I'm doing things like rack pulls, deadlifts, things like that. I do not prefer to do benching in this. I mean, I can, I have done it already, but it's not my preference just because the knurling is just super aggressive. I, I really don't need that much knurling if I'm just doing something like benching. So I just use this, this bar. And I got this off of Craigslist. I got this off of Craigslist with a couple of plates too. I got like, um, these plates is all broken up. I got four cat plates, four cat 45 pound plates along with these. Uh, there was, a, there came in a total of four 25 pound plates, two 35s. There was like six 10 pound plates. And there was, um, what was it? Six five pound plates and like six two and a half pound plates. I got that all at, all off of Craigslist at like around 250 bucks, somewhere around there. But I also wound up getting 25, 35, and 45 pound dumbbells that I gave away for free to my brother. So, and that's the guy that you usually see with me in the other videos. Um, my brother Tony Crizzy. I gave them away to him. So, I, I mean, that was a nice deal. That was a real nice deal. I also wanted to get in a plate tree that I do not have in here. I keep that in my um, in my shed. But the rest of the 45s, I got eight 45 pounds from, was it eight or was it? I think it was eight. Um, let me see. I don't think that was eight. Yeah, yeah, that was eight. Yeah, I got eight 45 pound plates from Walmart just because the shipping was free. The standard cat 45 pound plates. The shipping was free, so I went with them. If you're looking at getting weights, definitely look at that shipping because the shipping's a lot of times the shipping will be a determining factor on whether you actually choose to get it from that place or not. Because shipping can be super expensive. You can find a nice deal on some plates, dumbbells, whatever the case is, on a website, and the shipping will just be outrageous and it won't even be worth it. You'll just leave it. So I got eight of those from Walmart. Like I said, um, free shipping on all eight. And then I wound up getting these two Troy 45 pound plates, which are the best ones that I have. Um, very stur sturdy. Um, it's definitely top-notch stuff. I got that from a supply that um, around that's kind of local to me. He sells all kind of commercial stuff, cheap too. Like all commercial grade equipment, all commercial grade equipment, cheap. You know, I'm gonna put a link in the description for that one as well. So people who are in my area, if you're looking at trying to get some commercial type equipment before good price. I'm sure if you've looked on Craigslist already, you've already seen his ads, but if you haven't, I'm gonna put the link in the description just so you'll know. I got this, this this belt, you know, for you know for when I'm doing my, my dips and pull-ups, different things like that. Then I got my rogue power, uh, what is this? This this belt, power lifting belt, 13 millimeters. This thing was $135, but worth every single penny. It's gonna keep you completely locked in. Completely locked in. I would definitely spend that again. This is the gym. I mean, I honestly, out of all this, out of everything that I have, I can honestly tell you, I probably spent somewhere in the neighborhood around $5,000.
Yeah, around $5,000. Okay, here we got the Rogue Regular Bench. I don't even know what the correct name for it is, but we're just gonna go with that. Just Rogue Bench, right? Um, I got this for $189, very sturdy. One of the best things about this is that it's a foot in width. It's a foot in width. This makes a huge difference. And the width of the of the width of the bench, because you got a foot, right? And then come over here and look at this. This thing is only like eight eight to ten inches. This bench, this is a full foot. So you know you'll never have to feel like you're gonna fall off the bench if you're with the dumbbells and you're doing barbell presses, whatever the case is, like you're good, you're locked in. This was a good grab. I don't even know what this vacuum is doing here. Oh, this is probably my wife. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> anyway, yeah, this is my gym. This is my gym. I probably, all in all, spent about five grand, around $5,000 on it. You'll get the full total when I actually calculate everything total. And there it is. I got some other stuff in the corner, but it ain't really worth showing off like that. It's just some extra stuff. Uh, I really wanted to give y'all pretty much the main stuff that I had, you know, which was the dumbbells, the power rack, um, the dumbbell rack, treadmills, the benches, um, punching bag. We got the gloves over here for when we get busy. Um, yeah, this is my gym. Like I said, if you're in the neighborhood, if you're trying to get your own gym started make sure you look on Craigslist you will save yourself a lot of money I've seen a lot of different videos with cats that got the nice Ivanko plates and you know they got this and that and the other I mean that's fine if you can afford that I mean it's good equipment but if you're trying to save money if you're trying to be a bit conservative with your money make sure you utilize Craigslist a lot and like I said be very consistent with it be very consistent with it, be patient, and just keep doing it every single day. You will find what you're looking for. You will find it, but you gotta be consistent with it. You gotta be super consistent with it. Because that one day that you look, or that one time that you look out of, out of checking it five times a day, you'll see something that come up, and you'll be one of the first ones to get on it, and I mean, it'll be a super sweet deal, because. I'm gonna tell you the truth, I've seen a lot of good deals on Craigslist, but the reason why I couldn't get to it is because it took me too long. I got I got to it too late, you know what I mean? And too late in Craigslist term for like fitness stuff, a day. Like, if it posted the previous day and you look at it the next day, too late, too late. I've seen full sets of dumbbells ranging from five all the way up to 100 for like 700 bucks. Um, I've seen 150, no, what was it? 130, 140, 150s dumbbell sets priced at about $225 for the whole set for all three of the sets together. I mean, I've seen some very good deals on Craigslist, but I got to it too late, so it taught me to just keep on being consistent and keep looking at it every single day, a few times a day, you know, four or five times a day, and when it does pop up and you contact the seller, you're good to go. You know, hopefully you won't have to deal with too many people who will stand you up. But, um, yeah, this is Iron Omega Gym. And thank you so much for watching. As always, please, 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 please like, comment, and subscribe. If you like this video or any of my other videos, me and Tony Chris, we appreciate the audience. And as always, see you next time, family. All right, peace.